Well, we haven't done one of these videos in a while. Today is Tuesday, September 9th. And we are going to take you guys along while we're feeding cows here this morning. I've got ingredients loaded into these mixer wagons. I've just got corn silage left to put on now. And uh, we'll get them mixing. We'll dump the corn silage in. And then we'll shut the larger mixer off that I just started. And then we'll feed uh, the smaller one off. Uh, first. loaded haylage and the ingredients down through the commodity shed so now what we're loading on the mixer wagons is the BMR silage and conventional silage there's a couple bucket loads of uh, takes a couple bucket loads of BMR and a bucket load of conventional silage to load up both mixer wagons, I can get about 7,000 pounds or so in the bucket. Get them loaded up, and then, like I had said, we'll dump that smaller mixer wagon off first. Come back and grab the uh, bigger one and feed that one off and then we start the loading process all over again.
the last ingredient. This is conventional silage here. And one bucket load should just about feed both mixer wagons. Or in other words, there should be another enough on this one bucket load to fill both mixers. I need 3,000 pounds for this big mixer wagon. 4,000 for the other one. both of them uh, loaded up now we'll go shut the PTO off on the smaller one or the larger one and then we'll feed off the small one first thirty three thousand on this big mixer wagon and twenty nine five on the smaller one
we have just fed off four loads of feed to the milk cows. Now we are mix mixing up the dry cow rations. We've got the far off dry cow load going on to the big mixer wagon. And the close up dry cows going on the smaller one. So we dump our baled hay in first. We dump corn silage and haylage in on this far off load. Just corn silage and grain and grain on both. Bailed hay, corn silage, and grain on the close up load. We have the mixers both running so that we can grind up or chop up the hay. There is knives on the mixing screws that help cut up the uh, baled hay. Some guys will take and run their baled hay through a, a chopper of some kind and um, blow it into a commodity bay. These mixer wagons that we have do a real good job cutting this long stem hay up. So we've got the baled hay in the bigger mixer wagon. Now we're dumping baled hay into the smaller one. silage in. The corn silage will give some density to the hay that's already in there and, and it will help the mixer wagon grind up the hay. down to the last few loads and then we'll be done feeding for this morning we're mixing up a heifer load that'll go into barn eight we're gonna mix up another heifer load that'll go into actually this one's going in barn nine and we'll mix up another heifer load that's gonna go into barn eight and two the heifers that are in the new barn that's behind the par of the new parlor. And then we've got one more lactating cow load to do. So we'll run over, dump this off in barn nine. And then we'll have to come back and reload for the heifers in barn eight. And there's 140 of them in uh new barn that they just put in here uh, yesterday. Alright, so we are on our way over to barn 9. It's a little foggy. It rained uh, a little bit here last night. We didn't get much overnight, but we got a little more than a half an inch of rain here in total. 
uh, yesterday. It's just about quarter after seven, so we're traveling in front of barn eight. We're gonna be going around it. Traveling up in front of the milk house or the parlor, new parlor barn, and then we'll go over to uh, barn nine. Guys are just getting here now to work on the parlor. They're up here doing chores now. They're just getting done. For the last little bit, cleaning these barns. They move the heifers over to the stall sides, run down through with a vacuum truck. On the feed alley section. And then they uh, Push the cows back over to the feed alley and they've got the stall sections here left to clean. So we've got dry cows to our right, heifers to our left. Got heifers in this one group here down to that spot there and uh, then dry cows again or another group of dry cows and heifers on the other side and then another group of heifers past that so this load we go into uh, four different spots this group to our left up to this point right here. And we switch directions with the conveyor. We'll feed down through to the end up here to the crossover. And we've already fed that next group and then we've got two groups on the far end.
All right, so we've got the same mix going into this mixer wagon for this next load. And uh, we'll load it up and then we've got, there's 140 heifers in that uh, new barn there that they moved over yesterday from the barn we just came out of. to our right those are milk cows there and we have one alley scraper unit that pulls from just down the other side of that uh, well we'll see it when we get down to that towards the end here so these are bread heifers here they're a few months away from freshening we've got a small group of dry cows at the end of this one group here and then the rest of this barn is milk cows this gets there is going back and forth over there so they're just about done cleaning barns here There's uh, two other alley scrapers in this barn that clean that end. And that goes to a different manure pit. Nathan, wave! scraper to our right cleans up to just past that gate there so it takes everything that way
to the new barn now. And we'll feed them heifers off. And the alley scraper dumps into the slot. And then and there's under barn storage right there. And then that goes out to that pit that's just outside the barn here. They're dumping the vac truck in there from the other barns. So we'll pull around the end of this new barn. We'll jump in there and feed these heifers. They just moved these heifers over to this barn here uh, yesterday. insulation in the ceiling so this is gonna be a little tough in the ceiling of the barn and their machine is set up just inside the entrance of this barn here in this feed alley.
we got past him without running him over. So we've got one more load of feed to mix up and then we'll be done. What this um, wall is for is for when we push feed out of the barn. We clean the feed alleys out every day. And that's, that's just a bump up wall for where we push out the refusal feed the other barns we don't have a wall on the end because we plan on adding on to them so we don't want to throw that much concrete away but as you can see that barn is as long as we can make it because the uh, the road is right there so we've got guy putting gates in he's carrying around a uh, bundle of them we'll get this last load of feed mixed up and uh, get on with the rest of our day here Alright, that is going to do it for this video. We are all done. It's just a little bit after 8 o'clock here, so we're going to get on with the rest of the day here.